Okay, we're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. It is 6 o'clock, so we start with our pledge, and Commissioner Davis, if you'll do the prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for the many blessings you have given us. We ask that you watch over us tonight as a commission. Let us make the right decisions that further the cause here in Beaverdam. We ask that you watch over our friends and our loved ones who aren't here tonight. Be with them and guide, lead, and direct them as you guide, lead, and direct us. For we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Welcome everybody out on this cold, dreary, nasty night. And at least, I guess we can be thankful it's rain and not snow. Yeah. Yeah. So far. Yeah. I don't think, yeah. last I looked, they don't think it's going to change over, so I'll go with that. Okay. All right. First item, approval of minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second for the discussion. Those in favor, say by that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Move to pay all bills. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. We don't have any old business, but going down to new business, the first item is some funding for uh, or, uh, Nancy with uh, planning and zoning. I know the first one is dealing with some training they have to do, and it's two of them at 250 each, but it splits with Hartford, so we need a motion to pay the $350 for the training where well, they have to have the eight hours training for commission, uh, planning and zoning board members. Make a motion we approve that money for that. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor saying aye. 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 Opposed same. Motion passes. And the next item, for, also from Nancy's on planning and zoning, the, the guy who's doing all the training uh, used to work for the state, and, and he does a lot of work with ordinances and stuff now. And ours is in some desperate need of updating, I believe. And he's agreed to work with her on updating our ordinances it's with the business district for business ones, two, and three, be one, two, and three, to get those a little more in line with what they're supposed to be. And also with the signage ordinance, because there's been some changes on the state level on what can and can't be done. Can't be so good. to put ours in. But she's <coughs> asking if we would approve up to 1500 for Beaverdam's portion of that. I moved to approve 1500 for? Up to 15 if up you don't to mind. 1500 for planning zone for their updating of their ordinances. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same. The motion passes. Next item is vehicle use policy. Yeah, Travis and Jill have been working on this, so I'll turn it over to Travis if he wants to. So basically, we just if we change a few things, just kind of have a quarterly mainly to add a few small policies to it, we can get a greater discount on our insurance. I've got the me and Daniel have got the insurance on our uh, vehicle all the way up to 12 percent, which is the most you can get through PLC. So the main new points of the policy is we're going to have a points restriction policy. Have a what? A points restriction policy. So one of our drivers loses points on our license, we can track that and we can enable their driving or disable their driving. Uh, we're going to do an annual defensive driver training. You probably noticed we've been backing in over at the shop. We're doing a pull forward first. The KLC recommends that. They say the majority of vehicle accidents are from backing out of the parking spot. And that's about it. And that pretty much sums up the highlights of it. This will, be, this will be adopted into a personnel policy. And this can be done immediately. It doesn't have to go through two readings, does it? Move to approve the update to the vehicle use of policy. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I will say, did I understand you said 12% savings? 12% savings. On vehicle insurance. I know we only got three. I thought we went to six. But, you know, well, we've we got the vehicle up to a six. We've got the workers' comp up to a six from a zero. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a pretty substantial savings. We'll know where we meet with me on Monday. So. There's a lot of things that they're doing that that's one of the good pluses about being insured through KLC. Yep. Well, they'll come in and. It'll be a pretty substantial savings. Uh, you know, do things like that to help you on your savings on your insurance. Okay, next item is new hire, Larry. 
Yeah, uh, <coughs> I'd ask the commission. We, we had done some interviews the last couple of weeks, and uh, I'd ask the commission that we hire Ryan, Ryan Moore uh, for, the, for, the, for the city. Right now, we're kind of uncertain which department he's going to go in. We're not sure if we're going to put him in sanitation or if we're going to keep him in water. It'll be a decision for Travis to make here in the near future. Uh, we're going to be short for one here for two long, so we thought we'd start, we'd start training and everything. So. I'll make a motion that we hire Ryan Moore. Second. $12 an hour going to twelve fifty after 90 days. Okay. $12 an hour going to twelve fifty after 90 days. Second. <coughs> So we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Does the seen five time? Aye. Post same. Motion passes. James, do you have anything? No, not at this point. Sandy? I don't. No. Okay. Charles? I just one thing. I think David, do you have a copy of these people for everybody or do I have the only copy? I do not. I just, you just have okay, to I'll give it to Jill when I get done, okay? But we need to have in our minutes that we have a Beaverdam Fire Department has elected. Uh, New officers and it's listed as assistant chief Charlie Shields, Captain David Wilson, and Captain also Jeffrey Jones, Lieutenant Chase Vance, and Lieutenant Paige Smith. And we have to have those approved in our minutes that we elected new officers. So I will put it forth. I will move we accept the new Fire Department officers. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. In the left. Mike has anything. I don't have anything else. We'll get to him. We'll get to him in a minute. Kevin. Now, I voiced my thing with you this morning. I have no problem. I, everything's going good for it. Okay. Everything else is. For yet. For now. I right now. Are okay. we going to right. close session? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I'm uh, One thing I would just want to bring up, just to make everybody aware, we've already started working on it. Uh, last year, during the General Assembly, the state did approve medical cannabis bill. And the Department of Health Services will be overseeing that, and they're going to start licensing facilities, both for grower and dispensaries, starting January 1, which will be 2025. Uh, so KLC's already started working on some sample ordinances to put together. Now, do we do we amend those, or do we just use what they they do? Well, we can do anything we want to. They just have some samples to put together that we can build off of, or or accept, or reject all the way around. But there's a lot of things you can do, uh, you know, as far as time, place, and manner of sale and all that good kind of stuff. And I feel like it's something we need to watch and stay on top of and have it ready to go before January 1. So that's something we're going to be working on this spring and summer. And it'll probably take most all spring and summer, you know, to get it wrapped up. Larry? Is that, that going to take an officer kind of like does a uh, Alisa with a... Well, they're tr I think the state's doing a whole lot along the lines of the way alcohol was set up, where you okay. can do so be restrict, for restrict places to sell, restrict times of sale, restrict dates of sale. But isn't it that's the only thing they can sell? They're not allowed to sell anything else but that? I thought that's the way Judge Johnson described it when he was talking to me about it. Well, there's been several different things come up. The law's one thing, but when they promulgate the rules, it's something times a whole lot different because the law's pretty vague. Okay. Okay. The only thing that I have is uh, we have a small water leak on Goshen Road. Uh, after, after it sits through the night with no traffic, there's a pretty good puddle of water. Uh, Did we ever confirm if it's ours and uh, is a leak? And we still have not shown any chlorine in it. Uh, it's the only thing that's there. So, so we, you're talking about the end of Goshen mm -hmm. intersection? So uh, we've gotten a hold of, uh, of uh, Electron Sons. They're going to have a crew come in. They're going to do a directional bore and put a piece of casing in then pull a six-inch water main back through. So we will have the water shut off for a few hours whenever it's tied back in. So it's just kind of a heads up. Well, good. I'm glad you're going to bore it. way we don't mess up the new road. We was hoping that there was a piece of casing already there, but there's not. If it was, you know, we could pull it out, put one in, and okay. <coughs> And of course, they didn't dig; they didn't do any excavation up there, so it's nothing that we can, <laughs> we can kind of say. That, that excavation section, causes problems. Yeah, that old section of pipe there, it's, it comes, it's in six foot joints, and there's two three quarter inch bolts. They has a flange that runs it up, and we've had leaks in the floor before. Just tighten the boat up or replace it, but this here is, is not going to be that simple. Well, we need to get it out of there anyway and put it in mm -hmm. case and be done with it. Okay. Do you have anything else? That's all that I have. Travis, do you have anything? 
Chill. David? No. Mike? We're still looking at March, about March 15th? Yeah, about four more weeks after this week, I think. Get two of them out at the same time. They're doing good? That will get us fully staffed. Good deal. Okay. Angie, you have anything? <laughs> yeah, I think she's, I'm good. She's worth watching. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Uh, <laughs> Jeffrey Fro, my wife Dina, and daughter Desiree Howard. Uh, we're currently. Uh, in, in negotiations with buying an EV hatchet's place here. Uh, what we would like to do, we would like to keep it here in Beaverdown. I know uh, the girl that owns it now said that she rents the building from the city of Beaverdown. Uh, we would like to keep it here in Beaverdown. Uh, we also know that this is the hub of entertainment for a lot of county. Uh, we'd like to, you know, be open during the uh, the Thursday night bike night, the Friday deer and sounds on the seconds, uh, the you know strawberry fest. Uh, we feel like there's an opportunity there that uh, continue to provide entertainment for the residents of uh, not only Beaverdown but you know the surrounding counties and stuff too. Uh, so we come to, to ask that you guys consider you know renewing the lease to us. Uh, I'm not for sure exactly when her. Lisa's up. I think maybe she told us April, but she wasn't for sure. But we would like to continue to keep that business here in Beaverdown. Uh, once again, uh, just coming and asking for you guys to consider that. And, and, uh, we would love to keep you here in Beaverdown. So. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. We're, we're really excited. You know, we, we have some uh, different ideas. Uh, nothing against her or, or anything like that. We know that uh, she had some other, you know, adventures going on too, you know, and maybe wasn't as open as much during the, the uh, foot traffic and the other activities going on in view down. But uh, we have some ideas, you know, to open up, do, maybe do some league, do some tournaments and some things like that. Uh, maybe go mobile, you know, uh, later in the summer, you know, where we can, you know, venture out in some mm -hmm. of the other areas that, you know, the entertainment's going on in view down as well. I'm well, so thrilled that someone is buying it. I've been trying to talk people. <laughs> I was excited when Larry Travis one told me about it and told me who it was. I was excited to hear that. I'm like, okay. Well, you know, <laughs> we're from, you know, Desiree lives here in Beaver Dam. You know, we're, we used to live in Beaver Dam. We're Hartford residents, you know, and stuff. But we're, we're Ohio County residents, you know, and uh, we, we just want to adventure or something, you know, and uh, like I said, keep family entertainment here in the county. Well, we appreciate it very much, and whatever we can do, Travis, can you all get together sometime or lay, take our current leases? What we did with the last week, we just took the current lease and kind of worked with them. And when do you take ownership? Or uh, it's all the meeting after tonight. We're supposed to meet tomorrow to kind of finalize, you know, and negotiate. We've, we've negotiated price, sell price, and things like that, but I wasn't going to buy if you guys wouldn't, you know, renew the license or renew the lease and stuff. Cause I don't want to buy the stuff and then not, not have no place to stand right. I get that. No. Yeah, just, and if we have to have a special meeting, we can do that to get that approved. Now, just, has she given you a list of what goes with it? Because the previous owner was trying to sell things and the contract states that it, you know, any improvements come to us. So I, I don't want you to get Buffalo thinking you're buying. Yes, yeah, no. This, so. yeah, yeah, so we kind of did a walkthrough, you know, and you know, we, we've discussed what's staying, what's, what, you know, because she has some arcade equipment in there that actually belongs to someone else, you know, and, and they have an agreement there. Uh, but as far as, yeah, we understand that the building and everything, you know, that building-wise belongs to the city, you know, uh, acts and, you know, targets and, and things like that, the saws and, you know, and TV and equipment belongs to the business. So, yeah, we, we did a walkthrough and agreement on that. You know, we haven't... We haven't finalized it in writing or anything like that yet, uh, but hoping to, like I say, to finalize tomorrow. Your guys okay with have, us staying here? Be right have you seen her lease? I have not seen her lease. Term her lease. Okay, no. I didn't know if everything was satisfactory. 
Yeah, well, with uh, it. No, I haven't, or, I haven't seen it. I think she told me that she just renewed it from the previous owners. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I'm, I'm assuming that we will be fine. So is it here where we can see it? I mean, it's like. <laughs> It's it's over in yeah. NS. Yeah. Okay. We can I check with the girls. Yeah, I would say get with Jill or yeah. I don't know if maybe at least I don't know who's taking care of that, but one of them would have it for you okay. first thing in the morning just to look at, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do we'll we'll come back tomorrow. And as far as I'm concerned, we're we're good with that. There may be a few changes that you all want to talk about and that's fine. We can work that out and we can approve that. Okay. Pretty all quick. Right. All right, thank you for your time. Appreciate no problem. it. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. Looking forward to it. And I will say too, uh, I'll have let Shelby know our tourism, <laughs> and I'm sure you've already talked to her. But or if you know, I know you all know her. So anything we can do to help you from that aspect, we're happy to do it and Great. do everything we can to make it go over in a big way. That's what we want. Thank you. Yeah, right. appreciate your time. Okay. Are you all together or no? no. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, my name's Virginia, and uh, I own several rental properties in Beaver Dam, and um, the, uh, 319 West Ford is the one I'm wanting to talk to you guys about. Uh, a couple weeks ago, you guys voted on, uh, I don't know what exactly how it came out, uh, they put up a, uh, is it uh, Render, and Randy Render, and Big Picky Brown. They put up a... Um, you granted on 15 foot. We dated them the 15 foot alley, yes. Yeah, well, the alley goes in the middle of my property, in the middle of my driveway. Well, your driveway was actually on our alley. I, I have owned this property for 22 years. Does mm -hmm. that matter? Not really. No, it really doesn't. That alley's oh, been well, there since but the, the 20s. It never think, was it? used as an alley. No, because it, 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 it's been used as my driveway. Are you on? Um, did you vote? No, 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 no. Okay. The alley went the depth of Miss Brown's property. No. And then. It's, no. no. The, it, the pictures yes, it does. of the building. We have a city that block that shows that goes that far. That we've kept up and maintained and put gravel on this entire for 20 plus years, sir. Well, and where the whole problem started is when Easter morning 2020, when Bill went out there and bulldozed all of her I bank and all of her. The plants, perennials, flowers, and stuff that had been there since the 30s. Not only did he bulldoze stuff that was on the alley he did, property, he didn't but he use bulldozed, no bulldozer. it was a backhoe. He, he cut it back, and he this used, was 10 years ago no, when he'd done that. No, it, I, I was there, I saw it. Well, Easter morning, been, 2020. 2020. Yep, 7.30 a.m. I got to call. And he took out about 30 feet of all kinds of stuff. Look, you look at the pictures. I, I there, saw there's it There's no 30 time, feet Virginia. there. I mean, down Miss Brown's property line towards. There's not. It wasn't 30 feet there. Did you see? Do you even look at the pictures? I, I know what was there. I saw. Right there's my that. driveway going up to I this know. building. Where, that yeah, was no there. Right here is uh, where the. the uh, he cut them back there. And it wasn't his what, to cut. It was hers. It was up against my. And we couldn't even see. We could not see. To get to back out. But did you talk to anybody about it before you tra he trespassed he, on somebody else's cut, property? It was in her property. It was. It on. was where he cut it all and dug it all up. He dug up her surveyor Yeah, that's an issue too. And that can be, is that a felony or a misdemeanor? Well, are you going to charge uh, a, a dead man? No. I mean, no, we're not going to charge anything. But Miss Brown's been victimized over and over and over again. He cut back bushes. That meant something to cut. her, and it was on her property. They and were no, over on. There. No, the okay, bushes. Right there here. were no bushes on your property at all. There were some on the alley, and some on, and the rest was on her property. I'm going to show a picture that I have here of it up against our driveway. That's all he cut back. Was back. This here is a ditch going along here. And this was up here. I know exactly where he cut because I saw it. I watched it after I got there. He was gone, but I saw exactly where all the dirt was at, where everything was dug up. We so couldn't even. We could not right even here? back out That's of that driveway. That were, it was up against us, and it was uh, uh, 
uh, out in the street to where we couldn't back up without getting uh, blowed at if we if it was that close to. And there's there's ways to handle it without taking some of it upon yourself. But what's happened? We did approve to deed the alley space that the city owned to Miss Brown. Why didn't anybody let me know or that I could at least uh, had some kind of say over? I discussed it with Mike Felty when he was running over more property and destroying more property. I discussed it. My building is not so Yes, and I, and I screamed from my back door there to you, and I waited for you to come out after you picked up concrete blocks and threw them on other places. They weren't in the I'm sorry, ma'am, but this is all a bold face lie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have showed up here. Hey, okay, okay, now, whoa, whoa. It must have been. I'm there. I'm there. Okay, Apple. Okay. Don't be up there. Don't wait. Hey. It may have been my great nephew that's living in there. He's I'm asking him to tell me that he tore the building down, and so we can build another building there. Which has he cleaned up around that. Well, the, the issue right now is the city did vote to deed the alley. We deeded the alley to Ms. Brown. My suggestion, if, if you disagree with us, to have your property surveyed and see if the points match up with what the survey is showing now. And if it is, it's kind of a moot point. If it's not, then that's an issue that will go to the courts. Uh, there's nothing the city can do about that part of it. Can I say something? Well, no, let, let, me, let me say something. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to this. And if I understand it, this is the alley, this is the same type of alley we've been dealing with down here for a long time. Mm -hmm. it, 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 that property um, was never dedicated, and that's what the deed to Ms. Brown says. It was never uh, deeded to the city, it was never dedicated to the city, which means that that 15 foot never belonged to the city. So when we gave a a uh, quick claim deed it says in there that the city in effect doesn't claim this as city property it's just like all these other alleys that were subdivided before there was any planning and zoning so effectively the if you really want to know who owns the property the original subdividers that divided it in the 40s and 50s and early 60s are the actual owners of the property the problem is that Platt was filed a record in the county court clerk's office. So everybody goes over there and looks at that Platt, although it's, those, those alleys were never actually used for public right-of-way purposes, ever. Never had gravel on them, never had, they were never paved or anything else. So this has been an ongoing problem for the city because people, just like you good folks, come down here wanting the city to answer the question on a piece of property that the city has never claimed ownership of. But y'all want the city to give the resolution of it. The problem is the city cannot give resolution of it. This Mrs. Brown came down here and what we've done before on some occasions when we could get it done is if all the adjoining, adjoining, adjoining property owners would agree that so-and-so actually has been maintaining that property and it's perfectly fine for that individual to actually continue to take care of the property. The city gives a deed a quick claim, such as it is, and understand the deed that's given to Ms. Brown means this. If the city owns it, you get it. If the city doesn't own it, the city's not warranting anything. The deed to her says, with no warranty. So the city's not warranted anything with that deed. Mrs., you came to see me, and you explained, what she explained to me was that, that they had been maintaining at least some part of this property for 20-some years, and there was an old building on the back of the property that somebody constructed and and that building apparently sits right on the right of way. Is that a few feet of it did? Are we in agreement with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, here's the news about that building. If that that building, when it was built, and nobody nobody uh, objected to it being built, 
At that point in time, that building technically belonged to whoever put that building up. It's called equitable estoppel. Adjoining property owners can all let somebody come onto their property and build a building that sits there for years. That property belongs to whoever put that building up or whoever they subsequently deeded it to. The issue that, that the city's locked into is kind of unfortunate because all the city's ever tried to do is to help people deal with these little, these little alleys that, that it would take a fortune to clear up. The only way to clear it up, y'all need to listen to this, the only way to clear the title of this property up is if you're claiming you own it by what's called adverse possession, which means that the property is transferred when somebody takes control of a piece of property open, notorious and adverse to everybody else, and you occupy it, you build a road on it, you do whatever you have to, and you're controlling it for over 15 years, technically that property could become your property if you do what's necessary. And the only way to clear this dispute up, the city can't clear it up for you, you're in the wrong place. The only way to get this cleared up is either for Mrs. Brown with that quick claim deed and whatever she claims to go to circuit court and ask the circuit court to quiet title in her favor. Or, if you claim to own it, which you do, you have to go to circuit court to, and file a quiet title action in the court after hearing all the evidence and being horribly frustrated. I've been in these. Judge Coleman ain't gonna be a happy camper to try to deal with this. But that's where the authority is to quiet title and determine who in fact owns the property, including, I guess, if the city, if the city wanted to make a claim to it, or any of the adjoining property owners who claim to own it by adverse possession. It cannot be cleared up down here. This is not the place for it. And I, if we didn't already know it, God, how, many, how many times have we had people down here on this kind of issue, Larry? We had a bunch of them. We had a bunch of them. If we, if we, if we, you know, we're going to say. Remember the old second? My husband died. We're going to break this second. Yeah. Remember that? The, the city, if the city had one, this, this, this one probably, if somebody else comes down here, it's not our issue. Yeah. And we're just trying to help somebody mm -hmm. resolve. We don't even want them anyway. No, the we, well, we don't own them. Yeah. That's the problem. So the even the ones we do own, we don't own. No, we never did actually own them. But the, 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 the factual argument, Mayor, we're getting down here now, we're not positioned to resolve it. They gave something away and it wasn't theirs. Well, we didn't give anything okay. away because it wasn't ours to begin with. Either. That's right. That's we just we gave away anything title. that we might. Oh. That, yeah, that is correct, right which is what we've done before. <laughs> That's fine. Beth, you have something you want to say? Uh, no, sir. This, this gentleman. You Thank you, sir. I will say that my grandfather took care of that alley, and then when there were trees up that alley, he paid to have the trees trimmed. My grandmother wasn't happy with that, but he determined that whether he paid it for it personally or the city paid for it out of tax money, it was the same thing. When they bought the property in the 30s, it was used for utilities. And as I grew up, my family took care of the alley. Straight, clear up, past the utility pole. We've always maintained it. No one else has helped maintain it. No one's lived in that house for the last dozen years or so till October when y'all started working on it this year. We're the only ones that's been taking care of it. Nothing has been in anyone's way. Irises don't get that high. Neither do daylilies or daffodils. I don't care for you to have the ditch. You've already got a fence there. One of those pictures show they've already got a fence. They're wanting to go over on my, they, and there's a ditch in between us and their fence. But they're wanting to go over in 
in my uh, driveway. The driveway is all we want, and we've right. mowed and maintained that ever since we've owned the property. And I mean, I'm we not saying nothing, on it. nothing about the ditch. They, Whether they, anyone was living there or not, we we mowed that yard. Did you see and the fence? I took, a, showed you a picture of the fence. They're just, I, they've got a fence. Then there's a ditch. And what? then there's my driveway. See, so why why would you put out of my okay, let her talk. Need to talk. You can put a fence there. Right there in the ditch. Don't put it in the middle of my driveway. <laughs> yeah, up the bank well, at the top of the bank a, is fine. We just yeah, want that the, driveway. You can have you there's can have a that. ditch and a bank there. Put your yeah, you've you already got it. You know that there had always been a bank there and nobody when they did show up, nobody said a word. No, 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 no. When you took out our fence, every year, yeah. right there the is their fence. Times, yeah, you see it. Fine. There's their fence. If they're wanting to put it up here on my no, in my driveway. Put your go on and expand your fence. That fence most likely is not on the property line. Then they can expand it to that if they want. Why do they want to move on? But it all started when all this stuff was dug up. That's nothing to do with me. Well, it's to do with the property and the property that was, But anyway, we kind of oh, yes, sir. Look, they've already got a fence. So There's a whole ditch. Know, Why do they want to come up here in my driveway? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I'm an old old man, an old lawyer. Let me tell you a story real quick. I've got somebody that comes into my office. This, is, this happened out at Apples. They were in an argument over about 15 feet. The running, does that sound familiar? 15 feet that ran between their property. And this gentleman insisted that no, no, it's my property. Turned out it was. But, but, but I told him when he came in, I said, I'm not gonna call his name, you, you really don't wanna get involved in this? And he said, why not? I said, look, because of what it's gonna cost uh, to finally get this matter resolved, you, you really would be better off if I knocked out the window of my office here and you just threw the cash out the door, out the window, because, because, what it's gonna cost. And what I'm telling you, the only way to resolve this, you're gonna to have to get a uh, survey. You're gonna to have to file a lawsuit, if y'all can't reach an agreement on it, you're gonna to have to file a lawsuit in circuit court. You're each gonna to have to have a lawyer because you can't, you can't put this proof on in a way the last one of these I handled took three days for the court to be able to resolve it. You're dealing with 15 feet that goes the length of, of two lots. And the cost, if you can't come to some understanding between yourselves, of going to court, which is the only way to get this resolved, this is not a court. It was never intended to try to resolve this issue. And the only way you're gonna get it resolved is put your proof on, Bring your surveyor in, pay him. Each one of you have a different surveyor, perhaps. The, the, the cost of this thing, considering what ground is actually involved, and I know the ground's really important to both of you. I get it, I understand that. But, but you either reach an agreement on it or the cost of getting it resolved, if you can't, uh, is, is way, way more than the value of that footage is. And that's the only way to resolve it. Been there and done that. Robbie? Just to try to learn how these places work. <laughs> Welcome. All right, entertain a motion to go into closed session. Go into closed, closed session. session. Second, whatever. <laughs> She didn't have any pictures. I'm surprised because right. I Make thought she was Make a motion that we go back into open session. Second. We have a motion to second to go back into open session. Uh, we did discuss several things. No business was conducted, as is the rule with an open session. Uh, closed session. Who wants to make this motion? You want me to? Can I read your writing? I hope so. Uh, okay. I want to make a motion to authorize uh, $5,000 for payment for resolution of condemnation of uh, Beaverdam. For, for Beaverdam versus 
Elvis Dugan. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Okay. Wait. Okay. We have, well, I was getting ready to have, have a motion. Have a motion. Right. Motion. <laughs> motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Does anybody have anything else to bring up? Now that everybody's gone. <laughs> she was scared when we were in here a while ago. It better not be a bad alley. It is. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Where is your alley? I remember you. It's right there. there. Four Street. Oh, yeah. It's right there. Oh, yeah. The one that. This is right. Yeah. Yeah. I, what do I need to do now? It, 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 I... That alley cannot be totally closed because you got a residence using it off of Madison. That's their driveway. That is their driveway. And I don't know how far she comes down. Just my, the two lots, the grass is. Yeah. You own two lots on this side of the alley? Uh, the alley runs right between my lots. Good. 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 You own a lot on 4th Street and 3rd Street? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know the city owns a section of a lot over there on the corner of 4th and Broad? Huh? That's what the So what's on the... PBA Yeah. The PBA also shows that Leo owns her other lot. Yeah. And that's inaccurate. But that's not right. Who owns it? Leah. Leo. Mendel. He bought the house beside the lot. Los Amigos. The lines are showing it goes over far away, which. Well, now those lines aren't. You can't go by those lines, so. Yeah. But it does show the section of ground there is owned by the city. Yeah. Pretty good size. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see a lead on that. Hmm? I'd like to see a lead on that. Check it out. it up. So, if she's wanting. I mean, you just see, if they want to buy it, put a parking lot there. I'll, I'll make it off. Two dollars. Two dollars and a half. I'm going to cut you out. We, you're, you're wanting the city to give you the alley. We're wanting you to give us the grant. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm already dressing up like a beaver. Come on now. <laughs> Hey, they wanted me to give them that corner up on 62 and 231 for years, and I haven't given to them yet either. So. <laughs> we may just take it. If y'all go ahead, just condemn it. Just get rid of it. I want to get the Chick-fil-A there is what I want. Yummy. Yummy. I don't have any population for that. Yeah, I know. But anyway. Now, I didn't know if I could go ahead and just, yeah. Can we block it? So how would that affect the English no, that they could pull in their driveway, uh -huh. but we wouldn't be able to drive all the way through? English? Right. No, I'm talking about on the other end. Oh, other end, okay. The other end is still be open. Just... Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go back to what A.B. said. How can we block it if we don't own it? Well, we can block it until somebody but she takes us to court it. to stop it. Hey, I couldn't move on my building. Don't be doing that. We need, we need a storage building. Go ahead. She's got a storage building. She's got a storage building. It's another one of those alleys. Same location. Same location. No. Right across the street. Well, it's right across the street. No, this one's, this one's between Madison and Broad, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, it's between it's between third, second, and third. So the other one was between fourth and what would have been should have been yeah, fifth. It's in the same vicinity. Though. Yeah, but it's still they go different directions. Well, if we block one yeah, end of it, it stops the short I've got I've got two lights over here, and the alley goes in between my two lights. And there's nothing on the lots, is it? No, it's just it's all vacant lots. Yeah, but it's got alley according to the plat going right there. We, we, we can't. We can't. She owns on both sides of it. She owns both lots. The 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 yeah. thing goes right in between her property. But could he, could Clayton get in? Could he block one end? Yeah, he can't. Well, she can block yeah. off that one end so people won't drive in. Fast, it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Blocking the one on. One the opposite end. Broad. How, well, how are you planning on blocking this, it? The, uh, do you have a plan? If she chooses to block it, she chooses to block it. Right, right, well, I'm just going to put some blocks up uh, or something. Just to Railroad ties or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that'd work. Did. We can't say what you can do with it. <laughs> That, that, was, that was my question. <laughs> How far does it go back? Because I know there's the White House the here. Yeah. Right there. Right front porch. Where that White House is, where Matt, the house Matt's 
Oh, it's definitely. It's like, approximately. And then the tree, the big tree <laughs> on the other end, it goes right in there somewhere. And, and Angie, nobody's, nobody's going to use that alley. If you want to block off that end, let, just leave the other one open so the guy yeah, can get in. Oh, it's your property. Do what you want to do. Okay. I've driven, Long your I've, I've, driven, I've, driven it it yeah. I've driven through it before when I took poor Elaine home because Lord have mercy I came back out of their driveway. <laughs> I'll just stop in the road now well, if I didn't give her a ride. That they're driving around the hose making more Oh yeah, it's been years it's since I drove yeah. across that way. Yeah, I put it in reverse and I was like, uh, yeah, you're, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> that big the ditch up there scares me. Long time. Okay. Any time, Washington. I've moved to adjourn. Second. Meeting adjourned.